the astonishing connection between science and religion. Science and religion have long been seen as separate realms, with science relying on logic and calculations, and religion on beliefs and values. Prepare to be amazed as we delve into the mind of the renowned Japanese physicist Michio Kaku and astronomer Yoshihide Kozai as they unveil the mind-bending concept of an invisible universe coexisting alongside our own. Beyond the reach of light, but detectable through the subtle pull of gravity. Get ready to explore the hidden dimensions of reality with the most brilliant minds of our times. Yoshihide Kozai, a distinguished astronomer and professor emeritus at Tokyo University, is celebrated for his groundbreaking contributions to the field of astronomy. His research on celestial orbits led to the discovery of the Kozai mechanism, a theory that revolutionized our understanding of gravitational interactions in space. A fateful encounter. In 1986, fate led Yoshihide Kozai to a scientific seminar at King Abdulaziz University in Saudi Arabia, unlike any other seminar he had attended before. Here, Scientists and scholars gathered to explore the relevance of Quranic verses to natural science. For Yoshihide, a man grounded in the logic of science, this seminar sparked a profound curiosity. This curiosity would lead him to discover the Quranic revelation. During the seminar, Yoshihide was captivated by the interpretation of Quranic verses related to natural phenomena. One verse describing the sky as originally like smoke particularly astonished him. He couldn't fathom how people 1400 years ago could have known such scientific fact about the early universe. Further examination of Quranic verses revealed astonishing parallels with modern scientific discoveries. For instance, a verse describing the origin of the universe as cosmic smoke resonated with contemporary findings about nebulae, where new stars are born. For the people that do not know nebulae, nebulae are vast clouds of gas and dust scattered throughout the universe. These celestial formations serve as the birthplace and nursery for stars, planets, and other stellar objects. At the seminar, Yoshihide was asked about the Quran's origins and whether it was of human or divine source. Actually, I am very much impressed by finding true astronomical facts in Quran. And for us, we modern astronomers have been studying very small fields of the universe. We concentrated our efforts to, for understanding of very small part because by using telescope we can see only a very few parts of the sky without thinking all the universe. So uh, by reading Koran and by answering to your questions, I think I can find my future way for investigation of the While he expressed admiration for the Quran's scientific accuracy, he did not convert to Islam. Nevertheless, his journey underscores the Quran's timeless wisdom and relevance. These finding has only been confirmed by Dr. Alfred Kroner, a German professor of geology at Johannes Gutenberg University of Mainz in Mainz, Germany. I find it very interesting that this sort of information is 
is in the uh, ancient scriptures of the Holy Quran, and uh, I have no way of, of knowing where they would come from, but uh, I think it is extremely interesting that they are there and that this work is going on to discover uh, the meaning of some of the passages. Well, I would think it must be the divine being. Thinking of many of these questions and thinking uh, where Muhammad came from, he was after all a Bedouin. I think it is almost impossible that he could have known about things like the common uni uh, origin of the universe because scientists have only found out within the last few years with very complicated and advanced technological methods that this is the case. Somebody who did not know something about nuclear physics 1400 years ago could not I think, being in a position to find out from his own mind, for instance, that the earth and the heavens had the same origin, or many other of the questions that we have discussed here. Michio Kaku, a pioneering theoretical physicist, futurist, and popularizer of science. With a knack for making complex concepts accessible, Kaku captivates audiences worldwide with his insights into the future of technology and the mysteries of the universe. This is what Michio Kaku has to say about the universe. Where, where's this parallel universe? They're actually in our living room. When I was a child growing up outside San Francisco, I used to look at the carp in the Japanese tea garden. I used to spend hours imagining what would it be like to live in two dimensions, a very shallow pond, Fish could swim forward, backward, left, right. Their eyes were to the side. But the concept of up, up, up into the third dimension, up into hyperspace made no sense to any fish. And I imagine the scientist there saying, bah, humbug. Anyone who talks about the world of up is talking science fiction. And then I imagine as a child grabbing this fish scientist, lifting the fish scientist into hyperspace, where the fish scientist would see other ponds, other ponds, parallel ponds, beings moving without fins, beings breathing without water, that is us, a new law of physics. Now, H.G. Wells, in his novel, The Invisible Man, no one ever reads it carefully to find out how H.G. Wells envisioned invisibility. He envisioned it through the fourth dimension. If I have two parallel sheets of paper, like two ponds, I have us in one universe, but I have another one hovering, just hovering inches above our universe. Light goes underneath the invisible man, so he is invisible, but he could look down on us. So we think that anyone in a higher dimension could be visible to us via its gravity. Gravity does seep across the universe. The story serves as a testament to the Quran's remarkable insights into the universe. While science continues to unravel its mysteries, the Quran remains a source of guidance and knowledge for all times. Science in Islam does not contradict. In fact, science illuminates the intricate workings of God's creation. Rather than conflicting, they complement each other, unveiling the astonishing complexity and beauty of the universe. As we reflect on our journey, let us embrace the Qur'an as a timeless guide in our lives. May its wisdom lead us to happiness and fulfillment in this world and the hereafter.